Vitamin D is a fat-soluble vitamin that helps your body absorb calcium and phosphorus. There are two forms of vitamin D, vitamin D2 and vitamin D3. D2 comes from plants and D3 comes from animals. Your body more easily absorbs vitamin D3 than D2 and you need vitamin D so your body can use calcium and phosphorus to build bones and support healthy tissues. Your body can only absorb calcium when vitamin D3 is present or when vitamin D is present. Vitamin D also also regulates many other cellular functions in your body. Vitamin D is anti-inflammatory, antioxidant, and has neuroprotective properties. Vitamin D also supports immune health, muscle function, and brain cell activity. Vitamin D is made by the body when skin is exposed to sunlight. The problem is that sunscreen, protective clothing, limited exposure to the sun, darker skin, and age may prevent getting enough vitamin D from the sun. According to the Cleveland Clinic, about 50% of the world's population have insufficient amounts of vitamin D. Though rare, severe lack of vitamin D in children causes rickets. Symptoms of rickets may include overall muscle weakness, abnormal growth patterns because of bowed or bent bones, bone pain, and joint deformities. And children with a mild vitamin D deficiency may experience weak, sore, and painful muscles. Insufficient vitamin D in adults is harder to recognize, but symptoms may include fatigue, not sleeping well, bone pain or achiness, muscle muscle weakness, muscle aches, muscle cramps, loss of appetite, hair loss, depression, or feelings of sadness. So what can we do to address low levels of vitamin D? Get more sunlight, though more sunlight can cause your skin to age more rapidly as well. I know all about that. Another thing you can do is eat foods that contain vitamin D. Foods that naturally have some vitamin D include fatty fish such as salmon, mackerel, and sardines, cod liver oil, beef liver, egg yolks, and mushrooms. Most healthcare providers will suggest taking an over-the-counter supplement. You need a prescription to get vitamin D2, and this is usually only done in very extreme cases, but vitamin D3 is readily available over-the-counter. Now, when taking vitamin D3, it's also important to take vitamin K2. Vitamin K2 helps shuttle calcium to your bones, increasing vitamin D3 without enough vitamin K2 may cause an increase in calcium levels without the ability to use it effectively. Now this can increase the risk of depositing calcium in the arteries, which can lead to an increased risk of heart disease, heart attack, and even stroke. So many people talk about vitamin D3 along with vitamin K2, and this is pretty well known, but what is often left out of those conversations is that you also need to ensure that you're getting enough magnesium. Without magnesium, vitamin D can't even be metabolized. According to the University of Oregon, just over 60% of adults in the U.S. have insufficient amounts of magnesium. Other sources say it's closer to about 50%. Either way, that's a big number. If a person's diet is mostly comprised of packaged, processed products and junk food, then that person is very likely deficient in magnesium as well as D3 and K2. So if you're taking a vitamin D3 supplement and you're low in magnesium, the benefits of that vitamin D3 won't be nearly as much as you'd like it to be. So I used to take vitamin D3, K2, and magnesium separately, but I recently switched to an all-in-one, which I really like because it's a lot more convenient. This one right here from a company called Do Not Age. That's where I get most of my supplements. If you watch my videos, you already know that. All of their products are really high quality, which I really like.